everything. Why does this not look appetizing on the camera? Should I take it out of the bag and like lay on the Yeah, so it look crazy. Oh my gosh, she looks alive. It's alive! It's like, bitch, this bitch was crawling in the ocean probably like a week ago and now she's here. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube video Hello. channel. Today we are in sunny Los Angeles with Julie Sophia. I haven't seen you in a minute. I think it's yeah. been like a month. I don't know. That Honestly, means... I don't have any track of time. You know what's one thing I like about you though? No, no matter how long me and Julie don't see each other, like whenever I see you, it's like the same, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Also, y'all were- Julie got this fucking crab. What? Mm -hmm. Some eggs. I'm gonna unbutton my pants, y'all. As you should. First question is, what are you the most proud of? Myself. Honestly, I feel like- I don't know why I feel so silly whenever like I speak about this, but- mm -hmm. Ever since I was little, like I was like, you know, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna be on TV somehow. I'm gonna, or I don't know, like social media something. And I'm doing what I've always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And I have a lot of like support system around me. I'm traveling, like, I don't know. I I'm just doing things that make me happy, mm -hmm. you know? I feel yes. that. I think what I'm the most proud of is, mm -hmm. honestly, just how independent I am. Ooh. I feel like growing up, I've always been very dependent on people. Mm -hmm. Especially like my mom, because my mom, as like a single mother, she did so much for me. Oh, fuck it up, fuck it up, fine. Mm -hmm. I'm listening though. She did her, she tried her best to like make up for what my dad couldn't. Mm -hmm. So like, I had a really big attachment to her when I was a child actually. And then obviously when you become a teenager, you're like, I wanna, I wanna have fun, blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. I didn't know I was gonna end up being this independent that quickly. Well, I was like 17, 18. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know what, I wanna get a job. I got a job and I, I paid for my own things like you need to be really proud of about. Mm -hmm. like that's something I really you know mm -hmm. that's something I'm honestly really proud of myself because my mom was like don't get a job like I, you know she wanted to support me like yeah, take yeah. care of me and I was like no mm -hmm. like, I want it and the fact that now like I'm kind of able to support her in a way too and like my grandparents it means a lot it really does Boom. and yeah I'm very proud of that and also I think it's just like I could cry but I feel like I also have really good people around me and it just makes me really happy right Sorry, no, not to pick up, but is it only real? One, no, fork? one fork, yeah. <laughs> you guys, Julie today, she went to the oh, yeah. dispensary mm -hmm. and bitch, they were feeding my friends so much Dang. of the Mary Jane. They were, she had a dab, she had a blunt. What weed lean, I have weed lean. It's in the little fridge here. It's cause I made a little, a wefty, I don't know if that's the right word, but a wefty purchase. And they were like, here, let us hook you up. And the girl fucked with us. Mm -hmm. She was so fucking nice. So yeah, she handed me a joint at first. We lit it in the freaking thing. Then she, I took a dab. I took three dabs actually, which was fucking crazy. I was outside of that store, manually breathing. Recently, we had a club event, and I was really, really emotional. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just thought like no one would show mm -hmm. out because a lot of my friends like weren't here either. Mm -hmm. And like when I saw everyone show out, <sighs> I <laughs> cried in the bathroom. <laughs> What's funny about that is. <laughs> That we were in the bathroom to piss, so basically I'm like squatting, taking a piss, trying to just concentrate for the pee to come out, and he's like crying, <laughs> sobbing, like sobbing, like with your glasses on too. So it was really funny. I was like, "Oh, Emsies," and Jackie was like, "Yes, Ems, you have friends." <laughs> what was the biggest fight we've ever had? And honestly, have we ever like screamed at each other? Yes, the fuck. Oh wait, I remember. I'll just say it. No, I'll explain it. Let me put this rice in my mouth. Hold on. <laughs> Like back in La Casita days mm -hmm. when we were be when we were out partying almost every single fucking night. I don't think it was healthy either. But you know what? We were having fun. Mm -hmm. Was it a big party? Yeah, mm -hmm. everyone and their mothers was there. It was a themed party actually. Your whole like, for you page. It's going. The night is still young, and we decide to move the party to somewhere else. We made a new friend. The friend had something going on. Just know that it was insane. And she's back with him. It threw everybody for a loop, and this friend came with her significant other. And you know what? At first it was all vibes. We were all vibing, whatever. Mm -hmm. We get to this other house. We're running around. Said friend finds me and grabs me and we go into the bathroom. And she was like, you need to help me. You need to help me get away from this man. Um, he pun- Did you say that? I can't say that. She told me- we're outside this guy snatches the keys from her mm -hmm. gets in her car is about to skirt away for so almost runs people over right <laughs> wait wait that, mm. runs to the car and he goes bop, bop. <laughs> and the guy like skirts 
pants off. I, I didn't let her get in the car with him because first of all, I think he had been drinking. So I was like, no, you're not gonna get in the car. First of all, he was trying to drag her in the car. I literally grabbed her and I was going back and forth. So this was also very triggering for me. So I go to go talk to Ems. I asked you a question and you turned around and you were like, I can't. Like you were freaking out. Mm -hmm. You know how, like you were lit, you were lit as fuck, but you were freaking out. I guess that triggered Ems and she, <laughs> I thought I was about to get decked in the face, first of all. And we would have had to squabble because mm -hmm. Ems goes, no, don't fucking tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to fucking feel. And I was like, Ems, calm down. Like, this came out of nowhere. And I'm not gonna lie, I was up in her face. And that was the first time and last time I've ever, ever done something like that. That was insane. It was really bad. We did have a talk about it though. One day we woke up and this was a few days after. We would see each other, but we wouldn't really speak I was, around the house. I was pissed because I what? understand though, I understand. <laughs> and we made up. And yeah. I feel like that Loki brought us closer. Mm -hmm. you know? No, I think it was just a very like triggering night for the both of us. Yeah, definitely. Very triggering. Yeah. After that, we haven't really had like yeah, we don't any really have... fights. Mm -hmm. I don't think they've ever heard that story, huh? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about each other? There you go. I'll go first. Mm -hmm. My favorite thing about Ems is that she's very compassionate and she's super sweet. That's like a, it's like a two in one. Like this bitch would not hurt a fly for real. And it pisses me off because I feel like people will be taking her for granted because she's really, really nice. But yeah, that's my favorite thing about her. My favorite thing about you is you're honestly like you're a friend that's always there, like for people, you know? Mm -hmm. Like if like for example, if I'm going through something or if Jackie's going through something, like you will pick up the phone, even though even if you're busy, but like you'll call after, you know? Mm -hmm. You'll pick up the phone, you'll listen, you'll give good advice, even though something <laughs> you won't be listening to it. And then she'll straight up say how it is too which I like. I don't like people who are friends that beat around the bush just to make you try and feel better. Mm -hmm. No, like I like honesty. <laughs> Here, you guys, I don't like eating the inside of the yolk and people find that so old. I don't like eating the outside shell because I don't know, it's just, it doesn't taste like anything to me. Like the flavor is in the yolk and you could prove me wrong mm -hmm. if you want, but you won't because I'm right. It's opposite for me. Anything. I like the white and I really don't mind, like don't care about the yolk. How do you get over a boy? <laughs> do you want to go first? Like. Like get under one. No, that does not work. Does that? No, it doesn't work. That's probably number one thing not to do. The best way to get over a boy is to get give yourself distraction. Is my titty still? No. Honestly, I'm with time. Like yeah. time does like heal everything. Yes, but you have to give yourself that time. Hanging out with them and you know like seeing them, that's not gonna like help. So just definitely have to like, give yourself time. Yeah. How different is your life compared to? now versus when you first started social media i would say completely different i just felt like i wasn't doing things for me mm -hmm. you know more so for other people but now i feel like i'm more free you know i'm like i'm literally doing what i feel like i can do whatever i want and i feel very blessed that's my answer <laughs> that was very lengthy it was very lengthy what was the question again I mean, before I started, I was working at a slime factory. Oh, you know, yeah. kids make slime. And to be honest, that was the first job, y'all. Mm, I think I had a good number of like four different jobs in the span of like two, three months. That's oh, so you so were cool. you were like that girl from Austin Alley. What's her name? Literally, Trish. Yes, you got a job at Cheese Out of My League. <laughs> Cause listen, if I was uncomfortable in the situation, like I wasn't gonna stick through it. What the fuck? Trained at Denny's for one day. <laughs> and the whole day I was like, I don't know if this is for me. Mm -hmm. My breaking point was when they told me I couldn't hold the tray with two hands. I was like, yeah, I'm not coming back here. <laughs> and then we started doing what we were doing. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, it was like completely different. Well, like, I remember I, I was trying to convince you. I was like, just quit. Let's go to LA. <laughs> I was like, I love my job. Yeah. I didn't quit though. I was just like, no. Oh. <laughs> Traveling, I'm happy. My family's happy. You're happy? Yeah. Hmm. That's all that matters. Yeah. Jersey. Do, do, do. Ooh, let's see that on to the next question. Mm. Where are we going to live now? I don't know. We'll see, y'all. We'll go where life takes us. Mm -hmm. For real. So, I'm moving back to LA. I officially moved out to Miami for two months and I didn't really say anything. I didn't want to say it to the internet. Because mm -hmm. deep down, I was like, I feel like I'm going to want to come back. And I was in Miami and I was like, hmm. 
Like I love my family and everything, but I feel like I kind of outgrew the area that I lived in and everything. And I was like, I and also Miami is just as expensive as LA. So I was like, bro, what am I doing? <laughs> and I also I have friends in Miami. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like I've built like a community of people out here, like just a good support group too, mm -hmm. that do, do the same thing as me. You know, just kind of we all uplift each other. Yeah, exactly. So. You wouldn't be alone, you know? That yeah. was one of her biggest things, like, mm -hmm. as to why she would have stayed in Miami, because she didn't want to be alone, but she's not alone. Yeah, I'm not Hispanic, huh? Hispanic families and stuff, like, they kind of point when, point out when, like, you gain weight or, like, when you lose a little bit too much weight. And, like, being around that didn't motivate me. It didn't help. It made me feel like even worse. That's, like, partially another reason why I want to go, because I, I'm very aware, like, I've gained weight. I've gained a cute, like, 20 pounds. I'm very aware, but... It's not like I'm delusional, I'm like, oh no, like I'm, I still look exactly the same, like I know, I know. And I, but the thing is, I'm in my 20s and I'm becoming a woman. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, once I set, like, I have like a set home, like I'm around like the people I want to be around, that's going to affect me positively and I am know exactly, like I, I just, I know my brain, I know how it works. I don't think it's anyone's place to comment on another person's body. Yeah, no, like and uh, I'm going to be completely honest, that's completely like killed my, conf not my confidence, just the way I view myself, like I don't love myself right now. Hi, a little update. This is a month or two months actually since this was filmed and I was right. I've been living in LA now. I have a great support system, great friends, and my family is still great. And I love myself. Ugh. It took me 22 years of my life to finally love myself. And it was a lot of trial, a lot of error, um, a lot of shit, <laughs> but it takes time, y'all. It takes time. She's going to get there, period. Yes, yes. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of sweating, but I think it's because it's also spicy. <laughs> well, I think we're going to end the video here because we're sweating. <laughs> Make sure you guys like and subscribe and comment. What should they call me? I've been fucking this up this whole time. <laughs> comment Patrick Star. <laughs> Bye.